I'm Scribble. This is Cooper. Let me lay out this scenario for you. The I'm <clears throat> I just log in to Koala. Like I don't I don't even know what's going on. So I just pull into town. I hear shooting. I pull in the square and I see this rook banger kill somebody right in front of me. I don't go through anything. I just pull up the middle road, get out of the car. He's like, "What are you doing?" He starts shooting at me, so I tase him, restrain him, wait for it to be cleared, um, and. Um, one of the guys at the RDM, which was a Vigi, just just got up and started talking shit and everything. And so, mm-hmm. um, so I look at his bounty. And he's only wanted for sixty k. I was gonna give him to the Vigi because I don't want to deal with that shit. And uh, so I was just gonna give him to the Vigi, but it wasn't worth enough. And uh, suddenly, a couple like two other, two or three other people gathered around just to see what was going on. Two people that got revived, and then two other people, not in the same gang. And so I'm like, all right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to go and pound this car. And if he disappears, he disappears. So so I, I didn't get that far, but I said, right when I said, um, <clears throat> right when I said I'm going to go and pound this car, somebody goes, hands up or die. And I turn around, and I go, who are you talking to? He goes, you, cop. And so I tased them. But from, but from their angle, they, there was clearly three. But from my angle... Like I'm not, I'm dealing with this guy, this RDMer, so I'm not paying attention to the other people that are around me. Yeah. So well, and the fact is, tags. if they want to, if they want a three to one, I'm pretty sure they want to announce three to one because like initiation is hands up or die, and if a cop hears that, that's initiation. They're not hearing right. Like, basically, oh, and they're gonna be taken captive. Yeah, and I got demoted for it. That, that's, um, that's, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. So it's it's whatever. Like, um. Not not paying attention was definitely my fault, like because I was I was just dealing with somebody else, and it's Kavala. Everyone's got a gun out, so yeah. not noticing their their tags is you know. But not like that's problem. not the factor why you should have got the motive for it. Like there's a big right. difference. One's like cops so, cops get told fucking hands up or die all the time. And guess what? They they start shooting back immediately as soon as they hear that. They don't fucking think. Oh yeah, they're they're trying to three to one. Right. Exactly. That's and so like, I was talk I was talking with the sergeant after the, or with a sergeant and dep chief after the fact, and apparently the it is and has always been a rule when you're clearly outnumbered it's a three to one no matter what the circumstances are, even if they don't say three to one, they um but um but they also said that if that kind of three to one engagement is going to be aids it's already aids but if they if they start doing it to their advantage they're going to change the rule. Where you have to say three to one. I started keeping track of um, when I when I'd submit before. This is before I became staff, and I was keeping. I started keeping track of all my bands, and I put them in a spreadsheet. Um, like, all right, this person was either banned or not banned. Blah blah blah. And I have over two hundred and sixty player reports. Um, not all of them are bands, or not all of them are like RDMs. Like some of them are like exploiting, um, fail RP, combat log, stuff like that. Um, but what I did is I took all my player, all the player reports when I started keeping track, which is roughly about 250. Um, I started um, keeping track of the ones that were banned and the ones that were not banned. And the, out of 250, I have a 96% successful ban ratio. That's, that's sad. That, that's not even when I was staffed. This is just submitting on people. 96% success. That's a lot of people. That shows how many Keep, people like the RDM on the Olympus. Right. Well, it's not even just RDM. It's just it's people it, breaking rules yeah. in general. And this, we have, Olympus has three servers, um, which each server holds, what is 110 people? 100 people? So, yeah, it's, I think it's 110. So 330 people on a server at a time, and on the forums we have a 30,000 person community. They're not all active, but we have 30,000 members that are signed up for the Olympus forums. So I get this a lot, and a lot of people don't know this. So this goes back to the very first part. When engaging in roleplay, must specify, or you must specifically, or you must specify who you are engaging. Give them time to react. Five seconds. Do not immediately fire upon players. So. Here's the thing. A lot of people are sending long, like huge long messages. DB is one of them. They have, they have the full engagement with, you know, this is, 
um, this is the dirty bastards you you've been engaged upon or you've been engaged upon by the dirty bastards blah 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 uh, please land stop land stop your vehicle um, get out put your hands up um, or be tased killed tightened blah 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 it has a bunch of random shit but it, it's like a paragraph long so given that they they have to give more than five seconds because even though they sent an engagement text, it's so long they have to have pro- they have to give you proper time to read it all, and then comply with it. So like if you just get an immediate text, hands up or die, you send the text one two three four five and then shoot. But when you have this paragraph, you have to give them probably fifteen seconds to comply. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people don't actually know that. You have to give, which that that falls under the reasonable time to react. So, so when you send just a quick hands up or die by hands up or die by X, you know, then you know, quick, simple, now five seconds. But you send them you, when you send them the book. You know, it's like, all right, well, I'm gonna read it too, and then I'll count the five. You know what I mean? Kind of gives yeah. reasonable for it. Right, it's like, oh, I sent them on this paragraph, I'm gonna wait five seconds. No, it's, it's not how exactly. it's been done. You need to give them reasonable time to read your paragraph. I, I remember somebody was asking about that and uh, they said, well, I'm gonna quote, I'm gonna quote like this long scripture of things and then at the end it's gonna say hands up or die. And I'm just gonna shoot them after five seconds. I'm like, no, it, it doesn't work like that. You have to give them reasonable time to read everything and then comply. Yeah. Let's go into story time now. I can, I, I can cut our stories around. Do you have any, do you have any good stories? Oh. I have quite a few stories, actually. You can go ahead and start, because I got to think of a few that might be good enough. <laughs> All right. But, uh, a lot of, a lot of my stories are when I was staff. Um, <laughs> you have better experiences <laughs> than me. Yeah. Uh, when, when you're staff, you can pretty much get away with anything within reason. Um, yeah. most, of, most of the time, by the time you reach the level of staff, you're friends with everybody on the server anyway, and you're well known. By the time you even get to the level to where you become staff. So, <laughs> this is one thing I actually did. I did it by complete mistake. I'm, like, I wasn't paying attention. So, um, I actually, I raided Rebel as a Civ in God mode. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't be killed in so the story behind this is they I was in Kavala you know I when I was sta- when I was staff I would stand in Kavala all the time just to get the live bands on RDMers and VDMers and combat loggers and stuff like that um yeah. and which is the main city for all that stuff and so I, I'd just stand there and do that all the time and so somebody was um RDMing or something and and I was always I was always really fair like if if I I'd watch them RDM and then I'd look at their, I'd go into the system that we have and um, I can't say too much about like staff side of things, but I can give examples, yeah. but I would go, I'd go into the system that we have and I'd look at their minutes and see how long they played and if they, how many times they've logged in, see their band records, if they were in band before. And a lot of people like if, if they're just joining the server, because we don't want to ban somebody the second they log on the server, they log on the server, shoot somebody, we don't want to ban them and keep them away from the server. We want to bring people in, you know? Yeah. And so, so I was super fair with that. And so after checking all their, all their stats and everything, I was like, oh, this guy's never been banned. He's played on the server for like an hour. He's got he's got 50 grand to his name. I'm not going to ban this guy. And so what I'll do is that um, I'll wait till whatever situation he's in is over with. And then I would restrain him. I would, I'd go into God mode. I'd restrain him. And then I'd TP him either into like a little nook hole where I was away from everybody and talk to him or I'd TP him to Admin Island. But I'd always go in God mode so they couldn't just shoot me and stuff. Or, yeah. you know, and because at, at the time we couldn't revive ourselves or go into our menu and all that. Um, at the Whenever we were restrained or, or killed, we couldn't do that. But now we can. Uh, or now they can. I'm not staff anymore. But, uh, and so that's what I'd do. I'd, I'd just go into God mode just for, so I could talk to them and, you know, I'd take them somewhere and explain. It's like, hey man, like, I know you're new on the server. I've looked at your time. You'll have been on an hour that you can't really do this, you know, you gotta, you gotta engage, and I'd, I'd tell them how to engage properly and all that stuff, so I was, I was really lenient with them, um, and so I did that to somebody, and, <laughs> and so going into God, there's, there's a God mode on, God mode off kind of thing, um, yeah. and so I'd go God mode on, and then go do all this stuff, talk to them, and so after, after doing all that, I, 
um, I was like, all right, so not, I'm not going to ban you. I'm just going to give you a warning because you're new and blah, blah, blah. So I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll TP you back to Kabbalah or wherever we were and, you know, let you go about your way. Just make sure you know the rules and engage properly, blah, blah, blah. So then I'll, I'll just unrestrain them. Um, and so not even thinking, like I, I just unrestrained them. And then I went, um, somebody's like, I got in a random helicopter and like, we're going to go to a cartel or we're going to go to, we're going to go to rebel and get some gear. I'm like, okay, I'll go. <laughs> you know, just uh-huh. whatever. I'll go. I'll go to Rebel, and uh, so I get there. Hell, I get a Rebel, and um, these cars pull up on us after we buy our stuff, and and so I start shooting these guys. I'm like, man, I'm really good, and <laughs> like I I didn't know I was just good. These guys either really suck or I just got really good. But then after, um, they're like, what are you doing, man? Like we can't kill you, and I start seeing their point of view, and I'm like, so I'm, I'm dipping behind rocks and all this stuff, and from their perspective they're, they're laying into me like I, I'm getting like 30 40 bullets into me and I, I don't even notice it and <clears throat> see and I didn't I forgot that I was in God mode like I I just got distracted and didn't know I was in God mode and I kept seeing this bar go down out of the corner of my eye uh, while I'm fighting these guys but it was my water going down because I'm running around so I thought it was my health like dropping but it was my water <laughs> and so I didn't drop a single bit of health and so I, I was fighting a I was fighting a rebel outpost in in God mode. I ended up I ended up comping them all. And once I realized I was in God mode, I turned it off real quick and instantly got killed. Um, <laughs> and killed. then I, I yeah and I went and I, I comped them all and and I ma- I spammed God mode off a lot to make sure I wasn't in it anymore. Because <laughs> because I don't know if they fixed it, but at the time when you would TP like you'd go into God mode, then you'd TP. Uh, somewhere and it would take you out of God mode, so you have to put it back on. And uh, so, and so doing this, like I, I don't, I don't know if I just forgot to turn it off or I thought it turned off. I, I didn't know, but I'm like, I'm not dying. Like I'm, I'm kicking these guys' ass, you know. And I, I had a Vigi gun, so I just, I just rode a rebel, but I had a Vigi gun, so I was just tasing people, tasing their training. <laughs> and like, dude, you're hacking. We can't even kill you. And, and then I'm like. I'm like, oh, oh shit! I have God mode on, so I turned it off real quick, and I ended up comping them like, like the whole gang, like eight million dollars, something like that. And um, all these reports came in. It was like, oh, this guy's hacking, blah blah blah, and it was, it was me. And so, I'm like, um, I, I talked to the gang leader and all that, and I gave him all this money, and I was like, here, um, this is my bad. I was in God mode, you know. I didn't know I was. So here's, here's a bunch of money. Here's like eight or ten million dollars. Um, distribute it however but it, like every person kept sending in player reports and I and I would file it it's like but I was like um situation has been dealt with with the gang leader and closed the closed it so that was that's one of my stories say how I I fought rebel in a god mode <laughs> um so. speaking about like rebel fights and all that I remember this one day it was very uh you were corporal at the time I even have a clip of it like back then when I streamed and all that I remember there was a uh, day that I remember two seniors joined the channel and then immediately, you know, when a seniors join a channel, the entire channel gets stacked because of, you know, kids like right. the have had them. Right. Uh, you was, you was in this day. Cause I, I just took a look at this clip and I saw your name. You were with us on this day, but I don't know if you were with us for the rebel raid when it happened. So the seniors pulled out to Zamex. Okay. You know, wow. undercover ones. Right. And I think we had a total of almost 20 people. So each Zamex. And we went into Paragos and we just. Oh yeah, stayed. I have a clip of that as well. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking remember, about. You remember that day? I do, I do. I was I, watching that I, the other I day. I love that day so much. I yeah, love it. It was that. uh, it was with Doc and KB and yeah, the whole server. Yeah. I remember that. That was yeah. funny as hell. And uh, <laughs> the the guy had an S star. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, let you, yeah. I'll let you tell it. You you go ahead and tell it your story. I just remember we all hopped out like it was just like. We didn't even, we stopped the car for not even like two seconds. All you see is the entire APD force just hop out of two Zemex and we all <laughs> scream at them. Put your fucking hands up, APD. Hands up, <laughs> this is all I hear from Scribble. All right, so you know why you're being stopped today. <laughs> That's all you hear from Scribble. <laughs> Everyone else is screaming. <laughs> Scribble's in his normal voice. You know why you're being stopped today. Everyone else, put your fucking hands up, APD. Hands up, APD. And shit, it was just so fucking hilarious. But I don't Bro, know if you were a, with us, but like a little I bit was. after. Uh, like a little bit after into, we, we ran into the hatch or the uh, off road. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was. <laughs> when I was when I was still in the in the Zimac or whatever we were doing, uh, when I was still on, they 
we started driving away and and doc's like how funny would it be right now if somebody just vdm'd us and yeah. kill feet of all the cops yeah. and then but not even two seconds later a a stolen uh off-road P, uh, apd off-road comes barreling into us they yeah. got they they got four guys in the back, one driving and one in the cab. So it's completely full, and so they run into us. We could through them, and then we like the whole APD force gets out and starts opening fire on these guys, <laughs> and like they're lagging so bad because everybody's getting out and shooting and everything. I was and, lagging so bad. Yeah, um, like Costner tasting each other because there's so much lag, and yeah. all I, all I hear is Dustin in the background. Stop shooting the car! It's gonna blow up. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I do remember that. That was funny. That was like the best. Like, that's the one. Like that's one of the reasons why I came back to like Olympus because I remember like all the good times I had back then. Yeah, the, we don't do that stuff anymore. I wish we did more shenanigans. Honestly. Like, all right, here's actually a story from today. Even the I, as I got demoted back to deputy, you know, I had to ride with PO and do all this stuff. But uh, Grandma Gary was playing on the server. He's just goofing off like like he always yeah. does. Grandma Gary, if you guys don't know, Grandma Gary is the head admin. He's been the head admin pretty mu- pretty much since day one. He's been on the server since the first day it opened. Uh, what was it five years ago, six years ago, two thousand fourteen, mm-hmm. uh, thirteen or fourteen, whatever it was when it opened. Uh, yeah, he's he's been the head admin ever since, and he just gets on and trolls. Each, and so um, it was me another deputy a couple of po's and a corporal and um he had uh what's that new what's that new um like spaceship looking thing uh Z- zephron or something zerf or something i don't know what it is it's it's that thing that ryan has that um it's like all multicolored. it's like a, it looks like a spaceship is it a VTOL? no it, it is a VTOL, but it's it's like a spaceship it starts with a z I don't, I don't know what it is, but um, we're in Sophia, and he's goofing around with that, and uh, it's, of course it's armed because he, he spawned today, and he's, he's the head admin, he yeah. does, does whatever he wants, and so um, I'm, we're all messing with him, he's in god mode, the vehicle's in god mode, we can't destroy him, we can't kill him, we can't tase him, we can't do anything to him, and but he can kill all of us, and so we're just playing around, and I'm having a blast, like... Um, Pretty much whenever whenever these little specific scenarios happen like this, like the rules don't really apply just in that little vicinity. Cause we're we're just playing a game. We're having fun, you know. We're just doing whatever. Like he's he's got this armed vehicle. It's not even on our servers. He just spawned it in. Uh, it's like an armed spaceship. Pretty much it shoots <laughs> rockets and missiles and bombs and fifty cows and it's he got all these weapons on it. And uh, so we're we're randomly pulling them out and combat restraining them. And if you guys don't know, combat restrain is where you don't tase them at all. You just run up and restrain them. Cops get, cops are allowed, or they're not allowed, but they have the ability to just combat restrain where you just run up and press shift R and it restrains them. Uh, and it's called combat restrain, which is against the rules. Um, but in this scenario, when we're just having fun, the, I, like I was having a blast. Like uh, we, we, um, we got a report of a stolen vehicle um, and as we were flying over, we saw the stolen vehicle along with like a Tempest device and another Zimac. And so we stopped to pull them over or they, they were putting it in a house. So we stop, um, and go after the stolen car. And, uh, the guy wasn't complying. We told him like, Hey, hands up for be tased. He doesn't do anything. He's not wanted. So we tase him and we shame him, but he's got a stolen car. And so, um, we get this guy, he's restrained, Grandma Gary's flying over with this spaceship, and I I grab this guy, and I start running out to the middle of the field, and I look up at Gary, look back down at this guy, run a little, a little more out into the field, look up, look down, and then Gary lands right next to me, and I tell this guy, I go, you want to go for a ride in this thing? He's like, yeah, put me in it. I'm like, okay, so I put him in Gary's vehicle. Like we're we're supposed to be detaining this guy and processing him, and I throw I throw him in a random armed vehicle. <laughs> they had some admins flying around, and so we we put him in that. The corporal's like, "Scribble, what are you doing? Do you put him in there?" Like, "Yep." <laughs> and all of a sudden, you see Gary take off, and he goes straight up, like two thousand meters straight up. And all of a sudden, you see this little dot coming down. It's like, "Oh, Gary's diving," and so. But it was all fun and games, but. Like all these guys, are like, man, I hate when admins abuse their power. Like they're allowed to abuse their power, and um, like they can go into god mode and just kill us and blah blah. blah. I'm like, dude, like, 
pretty much none of the rules apply right now. Like we are just having fun. We're bullshitting, having just having fun. We're literally pulling him out for no reason. We're shooting him for no reason. We're restraining him for no reason. We're like we're exactly. just just stop complaining and just have fun for once. And like and so even if they do kill you and all that, they revive you or they'll either comp your shit back for the fun. Well, I mean, not, we're cops. We don't lose anything. No, I'm saying like even, like when Sibs doing all that. Like, oh yeah, Sibs like when, when cops are on Sib and or yeah, when you're on Sib and the in the admins are messing with right. you. I mean, yeah, they have fun they, with Sibs. Yeah, the, they the they have their admin, admin revive. They just revive you, and you get everything yeah. back up. But the people still complain about. It. Like I wouldn't complain. I just laugh my ass off about it. Like, like I I love playing with admins. So when we're when we're when no rules apply and we're just goofing around, they like, I I love it. It's so much fun. Just because because I, I I don't have to worry about my rank getting ripped. I don't have to worry about breaking rules. Like like I'm I'm just having fun. Like I'm just. Ran, I'm shooting a rook at this like tank, you know, just having, and then all of a sudden I get this missile shot at me. Like I'm having a blast. Oh yeah. So, like, <laughs> speaking and, about fucking tanking, Grandma Gary. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> that's his like favorite fucking thing to f drive in Kabbalah Square. I tell you, you just you be sitting there for one minute. Next thing you know, you're a big ass, and you're like, what the fuck is that? You turn around, you see a fucking tank coming down the MSR. You're like, oh, <laughs> yep. Okay. Then he he, look, he looks dead at the score and just fires the fucking missile at you. You're like, oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't even, he, he gives you like five seconds to take a look and say bye to yourself just like bye. <laughs> and then um here's another thing this happened today as well too that uh like i i'm still i'm so friends with like all the staff has changed over since i was staff um hold on motorcycles are pulling in to the lot can you hear him uh, no uh um but like I, I'm still pretty good. I'm still friends with probably eighty percent of the current staff. Like we were, we were friends before any of us were staff. We were friends like back when we were POs. We were friends back when we were EMTs, and then we just, our friendship just grew as we grew through our, through our ranks. And now they're like they're all admins and moderators and stuff. And I'm I'm still really good friends with them all. Uh, even though I got removed from staff, you know I I got removed for a bogus reason. I'm not going to go into it because I can't. It's staff sided, so I can't go into it. But I got removed. So, uh, but I'm still friends with like I'm, I'm still really good friends with Grandma Gary. Um, still friends with Aries and and all them. Um, and so uh, I was in Kavala just doing my own thing. And all of a sudden, I get shot in the leg. I'm like, "What the fuck? Like, who, who the hell shot me?" And I see this guy. He's in a, um, he's got a uh, Mark One, and he's in that pink, um, that pink jogging suit or whatever it is, the uh, yeah. the VR yeah, suit. Dude. And so yeah. he look, he looks like he's naked, like completely bare naked, running across the street. So I take a couple of pop shots at him. I I miss and I lose him. And so I heal up, and then I'm standing, I'm standing in the square again. All right, so you know. Um, you know, like you're looking at square, and then you have that little road that's um, between the square and then like the clothing store and all that, yeah. just that like little pathway. Yeah. And then you got that wall of fences or wall uh -huh. of walls, and then it goes into like a little road next to the next to the pine trees or the uh, yeah, no, uh, coconut trees. And then that road goes all the way up to the hospital. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. All about right, that. so. So if you look catty corner to Kavala Square, like in the road, I was staying at the corner, pretty much almost where, um, almost where the uh, the Olympus APD sign is, the APD recruitment sign. I'm standing almost there. I'm like in the in the middle of all the roads right there. Just show me, and so, you know, see a full right so, guy from across. Yeah. Oh no. And so I get shot from my right. Like I, I'm looking at the square. I'm looking at the clothing store. So I'm looking. What is it? South, roughly. And I hear a shot from my west and it hits me and I'm legged I'm like what the fuck like somebody shot me again and I look and I see this, this naked guy running across the street and he goes behind that house up that road and I, I'm aiming from the road into the you know the uh, the rape house or the rape shack on the corner there um, they, I'm aiming at the wall between the rape shack and the little house on the corner so I'm aiming at, at the wall and I'm like alright he's gonna run right now and I fire and I hit him Either through the wall or above the wall. Like I could see his head just poke through, but I, I anticipated it and I just shot two bullets, and then I I ran to the clothing store up already in the alley to to go see if I could go find him again. And one of the another cop had him restrained, and they're like, "Did you shoot this guy?" 
I'm like, wait, I hit him? So, <laughs> so I, I hit, yeah. So apparently I, I either shot him through the wall from square or I shot him over the wall. I wish I had it recorded. Um, but it, it was like a one in a million shot and I just fired one. I healed the fired one bullet or two bullets and then started running after him. And it's like, it ended up being Gary. Like I knew it was a staff member. I just didn't know which one and it ended up being Gary. And so, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, how'd you shoot me? I was like, I don't even know I hit you. I was coming to run after you, but apparently I hit you. And I shot your ass through the wall, man. He's like, oh, you got to get rid of them wall hacks. I'm like, oh, I got my admin. I still got my admin ESP. Nobody ever took it away. He's like, oh. <laughs> and so I take, I, I took him back to uh, Kavala PD. And I, and uh, he, just because it's Gary and pretty much, pretty much any time you play with Gary, the rules don't apply. Pretty much. <laughs> of course. Within, within reason, they don't apply. And, uh, so I, I run him back to HQ, and there's a deputy there processing somebody, and I start running him upstairs. The deputy's on the second or third floor, and Gary goes, um, "Hands up or die!" By the guy talking, you know how he talks, like "Hands up or die!" Yeah. By the guy talking, and yeah. it's like, and I'm like, "Oh, there he is!" And I, start, I just shoot the the deputy, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I keep going, <laughs> and uh, uh, oh, and then before this, there's a before I get him to HQ, um, at the gate, there was a guy there, and so I'm escorting Gary back to the thing, and Gary's got this big-ass gun on his back, and so um, the guy's sitting there, and I, and I turn Gary around, and I go, hey, man, you want this gun this guy's got? And the guy's like, yeah, dude, let me have it. And I go, go buy one. And just walked off, and then I go, God, I'm Gary. Gary's like, ha, oh, burn. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, take, I finally take him all the way to the very top, to the ladder room. And uh, I start to process him, and um, the, a dep- he's like, I can't hear you over the deputy downstairs talking. He won't shut up. So I look down to the ground and I go, hey, deputy, shut up. And he, the deputy comes down up the stairs, and he opens up the he opens up the ladder room, and I go, there's a breach. And I just spray the deputy down again. <laughs> 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 and uh, and then uh, since he, when when your admins are restrained, they can still get into their admin menu. And so he unrestrained himself and locked the door. Gary, Gary locked the door so that he couldn't get in. And he goes, he's like, now it's a private room, just you and me. And I was like, what the fuck? How'd you do that? Because you know how you, like, you lock your house door? Well, he did, it to the, he did it to the police station. He locked the police station door. <laughs> so I couldn't get out. And so... It, he, eventually he just let himself out because we were just goofing off he let himself out and they locked me in the room so I had to use my, <laughs> I had to use my bolt cutters I had to use my bolt cutters to get out of our own HQ because he locked me in there I'm on I'm on Civ I think I'm playing with Jamie like we're we might I might have been staff at the time but uh, I was playing with Jamie I haven't seen him in a while and, yeah I haven't seen him in forever and uh, so we're, we're talking with these two guys or there's a Tempest device in Kavala Square, which is the dumbest thing in the world. But <laughs> these two new guys, uh, one of them got RDM'd, or they both got RDM'd. They, the people couldn't get away with their vehicle. They didn't have lock picks or whatever. Uh, but they got RDM'd, so the medic... So I'm like, oh, a Tempest device. I put it in... I'm going to go put a bomb on here. So I put a bomb on their device. Or no, no, no. Before this. So one guy gets gets revived. The cops see him. They go, oh, you're on our wanted poster, whatever crap that they come up with uh, and so they take him in and then this other guy he hasn't been revived yet and I'm like alright I'm gonna I got a speed bomb I'm gonna place it on this Tempest device and so I put it on I put it on his on his Tempest and then the guy gets revived and we start talking with him he's like hey where'd my friend go I was like oh I think the cops took him you know they're down at the HQ whatever and he's like man I hate getting RDM like I work we work so hard for this we put our money together we bought this type of device like it's not tiered it's not insured like we can't do anything to it we don't have enough money we, we spent 450 something thousand dollars on this on this device and I'm like oh <laughs> well then <laughs> don't drive it and so it, but then he's like all right well um, what happened to my friend I'm like oh the cops took him they're down at the HQ go ahead and drive down there so he gets in his Tempest device it starts driving towards the HQ, and all of a sudden, like halfway to HQ, you hear this, and so this brand new player that spent 
his all of his money and his friend's money combined on this one Tempest device for to help him mine and make more money. It's all the money they had, and I blow it up <laughs> with a speed bomb. <laughs> it, was, it was I felt I never felt so good and so bad at the same time. I know, like I would feel I like, so I would laugh my ass off. I feel so bad inside for that. Like <laughs> just knowing they spent all their money, both combined, just to buy one truck. I know, and I I think I ended up giving him some money or something. I don't I don't remember what happened after that, but I don't know why like, they just uh, didn't end up buying a box truck. I don't know, the biggest truck I guess you know holds a lot. But it, I thought it was hilarious because I'm like I'm gonna put a car bomb on this guy's car and then just walk away, and <laughs> it, it ended up driving it down the HQ and we were like, hey, man, drive this down the HQ, and I was like. I think I think I even told him like, "Hey, don't forget your tempest, then you don't want to get stolen," just so he'd get in it and drive it. And so, and then <laughs> block down the road, boom, just done. And That's he so was sad. he was so mad. Like he got, I, I think he got revived and came back to square. He's like, "Man, I'm so mad. I we spent all uh, this is when this is when they told me all that stuff. Um, oh, like we we put all of our combined money into that thing. Somebody blew it up. I'm so mad. Blah blah." blah. I was like, yeah, that was me. I put a car bomb on it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I gave him some money just because, but I I thought it was hilarious. Dude. But you know, like you said, I would feel so I would feel bad, but I'd be I'd be feeling so happy inside because of it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where it's gonna be posted. It might be posted on podcasting stuff. It might be posted on YouTube. I don't even know where it's gonna be posted. That, but it's uh, be posted uh, somewhere. It'll, it'll be posted somewhere. It'll be on the forums. So we'll be back next week or something. We'll be back shortly with another another episode.